One goes, men's doubles. The final match uh, here for you live. Fajr Alfian and Mohammad Rian Ardianto, the top seeds, up against Lu Qingyao and Yang Pohan of Chinese Taipei. I wouldn't pay attention too much to the seeds because we've just seen one disposed of in uh, Chou Tianchen. The second seed is out. Men's doubles, uh, still lots to play for here. No places decided in the quarterfinals on this part of the draw. And uh, the winner could play Ong Otio or Go and or Izudin. We'll see. Indonesians are out first. Against the uh, Chinese Taipei pair. Little and large combo. Colorful characters. Some people not wanting to be identified in the crowd. It is a work day after all. Uh, Alpha and Ardianto have a very good record against Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han. 5-1 lead they have in the head-to-head -head most recently the Denmark Open last year. Koreans in action right now, so you can sit back and relax and enjoy the action here. Not being too invested in it. It was a lot easier when you're in that sort of position. But yeah, it's been a, a good head-to-head. -head. Indonesians have won the last uh, four in a row. And all in the straight games. In fact, the only time they went to more than two was the first time they met. That was in Macau Open way back in 2016. So we start with uh, Mohamed Rian Ardianto, who's 27 years of age. From uh, Bantul, Indonesia, 172 centimeters tall. He is, uh, along with his partner, the current world number one. That first achieved in December of last year. His partner is 28, just a bit older from uh, one of the major cities bundle, 175 centimeters tall. Together, these two have World Championship bronze medals twice, 2019 and 2022. Also, Asian Games, they won a silver in their home games. They barely played against Ko and Shin. They had to retire the Koreans, so that was that's uncomfortable for them in many ways. Also, Asian Championships last year, they got bronze as well. Sea Games have had a bronze as well in 2017. Yang Pohan is uh, older than the, all of them. He's 29, 172 centimeters tall. He's the shortest of the players. And uh, he's currently 15th in the world. He has been uh, as high as 10th. That was in November 2017. Sorry, Lu Qingyao, I should say, is the oldest. He's uh, the oldest and the tallest at 190s. Towers over the rest of them. And uh, these two have won the Hilo Open together. That was in 2022, just last year. They had a runners-up at their home tournament uh, just a few weeks ago at the Taipei Open. Uh, they beat, so this is a fantastic result, beating Fernando Martin in three, just under an hour. 
so can Alfen and Arianto avenge their compatriots today. Again, conventional thinking would have the Indonesians as the overwhelming favourites. Kang Sun Yong from uh, Korea as our umpire. Indonesians have won plenty of titles, Omar 10 on the World Tour, two this year, Omar. Malaysia Open and the All Chinese England. Taipei. And on my left, Fajal Alkian and Muhammad Riyan Nadiantu, Indonesia. Fajal Alkian, John. Play. Expect all action this one. Will be entertaining. Yep, well left there by Lu Ching Yao. loose on that, didn't he? Yeah, a bit awkward. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Yao, big man as well. And it's low down like that. in the 33 second round matches that they've played in the World Tour. Alfen and Arianto have won 25 of them. So they're a pretty good nick in that sense. They've won the last three. I'm just to correct myself there, the fact, actually. Eighty-four times, I should say. Excuse me. In the second round, they won fifty-nine of those uh, second-round matches. Lost twenty-five of them. And the last six, they have got through. The last time they failed to get past the second round was in the French Open of last year. They lost to the English pair Ben Lane and Sean Vendy. For Lynch, Yu Chung Yao and Yang Fu Han, they've had 68 second round matches. They've won 31 and lost 37. So they've lost more than they've won. The Canada Open in the last uh, tournament they played, they were out for the second round. That gets through Yang Fu Han. Enough power on that, the left hander. I will say they they went through a bit of a poor run. They're in the middle of a poor run, really. Two of the last seven only have they got through the second round. Last seven tournaments, only twice. They are leading here against the number one seeds. Six, 
Still a decent start here from Lu and Yang. Against Indonesians in the second round, they've played 13 times, Lu and Yang. They've won six and lost seven. So not the best of luck necessarily with Indonesians. As for uh, Alfen and Arianto, 13 times they've met Chinese Taipei opponents in this round. They've won 12 out of 13. That is a very, very good record. The only time they lost was back in 2016 in the Vietnam Open. Liao Kuan Hao and Lu Chiapin. It's the only time that they've lost in the second round to Chinese Taipei opponents. So, Just a bit of hesitation there from Lu. Overall, their record against players from Chinese Taipei, the Indonesians, it's excellent. 28 wins out of 36 against a pairing from Chinese Taipei. Though they did lose the last time they did meet a Chinese Taipei pair. That was at the Spain Masters in March. They lost in the quarterfinals to Li Fangche and Li Fangzhen. Surprising, perhaps the Chinese Taipei pair. Met Indonesians 36 times have won 16 out of 36. Though, as I said, their last one they did win. So, quite interesting uh, that's been inverted the records in a way. And they won that uh, in the last round of this tournament. Still in front here, Chinese Taipei pair. Well, they're just in front here, the Chinese Taipei pair, and perhaps a bit of a surprise. They lead 11-8. It's been good so far from them.
Well, up and Arianto. Just uh, taking some time to ease into this. We know the pedigree they've got. to exert the pressure you'd think that they would. They're looking to put on a run themselves here, the Indonesians. It's not quite been smooth sailing yet. A oh, lovely kill shot there on the backhand from Ardianto. They take the lead. The Indonesians, incredibly, for the first time in this match. Not only that, the lead increases now. A very good run they've got right now. Remember, it was Chinese Taipei pair were leading 12 10. So five in a row here. Excellent. They've just stepped it up since the break. Just snatching at that one. Yeah, he was just a little too far from Fajar Alfian. That run comes to an end. A bit of relief there for Chinese Taipei pair, remember. At the interval, it was 11 8. <laughs> 8 2, therefore, it has turned around since the break in favor of the Indonesians. Well, nicely done by Fajar Alfian. 
it's it's just quite the turnaround, as I said. Nine three in favor of them. Well, they were looking to just try and pull back one Chinese Taipei pair. Still only two points clear, so still anyone's game this one. Just feel that the Indonesians have stepped up a gear since the interval. Lovely stop drop there from Fajr Alfian. Effective shot is one that is aimed directly at the player with very little room to manoeuvre. Delicately done by Alfian. We look at the uh, the head to head again. As I said, five one in favour of the Indonesians. They've also played. A lot more matches. Three hundred and fifty-eight. They've. Play. They've won 254 of them. It's a very good win rate. This year has been spectacular. They've won 24 out of 32 matches. And they now have three game points. Seventy-five percent win rate this year alone. The overall win rate's just a uh, just over 70 percent so this has been good oh, oh, oh just in and there's only a point in it between them Crucial point here for Wang and Lu. Can they draw level? No, no it's Indonesians to take it. There was a bit of hesitation between the Chinese Taipei pair. Alfen Ardianto, 21 19 here in game one.
Pretty tight second game, the first game I should say. It was uh, led from the start pretty much till the break by the Chinese Taipei pair. And then a storming comeback from Alfa and Arianto. And then a fight back again of their own from Chinese Taipei towards the end. So it swung a few times in momentum. Emphatically put away there from Arianto. When well, we're talking about the win rate of the Indonesians, uh, especially this year, 75%. They've upped it from their usual win rate. Not so good for the Chinese Taipei pair, who've won 154 of their 272 matches in their career overall, which is about 57%. However, they've only won 10 out of 24 this year. Uh, only 42% overall, so they've really dipped in uh, 2023. So to match the uh, world number ones like they did, you've got to give them credit. Remember, uh, they were at uh, 1916 and Start stage, a bit of a comeback there, the Chinese Taipei pair. But it was all started with the post-interval session. Oh, good evasive maneuvers there. But in the end, difficult to withstand the onslaught of uh, attacking shots from the Indonesians. Who well, you'll feel now have probably picked up a bit of a head of steam here. right in that corner, really nicely done. Similar sort of pattern to what we saw earlier. Chinese Taipei Bear then surged ahead. Well left, he almost played it. I think he was rather bemused. Look at his face. There you go. From uh, <laughs> Lou. 
It was tempting, wasn't it? Oh, it almost hit him as well. I think that was the uh, source of amusement. And that was important. Again, now we're seeing that, again, that similarity with the previous game where there was this little lead that Lou and Young consistently had. Just a point in it then between them. Yeah, easy one again. Alfian. saying to get on with things. Half an hour on top. Just in front. <laughs> and they've drawn level. Well, looking back at Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han. for uh, making their debut here at the uh, Korea Open. There's a edge in front. As for Alfin and Adianto. They have won this back in 2019. And they got to the final last year. Takeshi Kamura and uh, Keigo Sonoda in 2019. And then in the uh, final last year, they lost to Kang Min Hyuk and Seo Sung Jae. It was played in uh, Suncheon, which is a city very close to here, Yosun. Oh, Yosu, I should say, excuse me.
And that draws them level again. Feeling tight. Well, there's, a, there's an element of deja vu at the moment with this uh, game. Oh. Hey. Remember, the Chinese Taipei pair went in with a, a three-point lead in that one, 11-8 in the first game of the interval, and then the Indonesians turned it on after that. Here. It could be either one going in the interval now with the lead. Oh. I thought that went long. It did indeed. There's a bit of hesitation again. It was the right shot. It was plenty, well, right area to him, I should say. Just a bit too long. And it is Indonesians who are just in front here. 11 10 in the second game, having already won the first. So, let's see how the Indonesians now, do they continue in their pattern from the last game, which was impressive. Far too much on that for Lou. got a four-point lead. Great power. What a shot that is. And the, it's a steepling one as well. D difficult. Arianto. Remember, when it comes low down at someone as big as Lou, it is very, very hard to just stretch forward. It's almost at ankle height. It 
this time uh, Jan Pohan snaffles that. Easy. Oh, they've kept it alive, but not for too much longer. Chinese Taipei were in trouble there. Fantastic there. And these are important points, Yong Pohan and Lucha Yao, just to narrow that lead. It's still four, four points. Difficult. It's been a pretty good time for. Alfian and Ardianto, world number one pairing, as you said. That took a lot off that, didn't he, Alfian? Yeah, last year. Got to eight finals. And won four of them. And this year, they've only got to two, but they have won both of them, as I mentioned earlier. The Malaysia Open and the All England Open, both Super 1000, so they're in really good position here. Malaysia also blessed with many men's doubles partnerships. And they are currently the number one pair. Lead is still four, and that's also what they need to win. Four more points for the Indonesians. Problem for the Chinese Taipei pairs. They're looking uh, to wind down their careers. Early exits of the Malaysia Open and the India Open. Both second round, opening round of the All England, second round of the Swiss Open, first round of the Spain Masters, second round of the Malaysia Masters. Thailand Open, they got to the quarterfinals, also thanks to uh, a walkover from their compatriots, Lee Young and Wang Chi Lin. First round of the Ta Singapore Open and the Indonesia Open. The Taipei Open is really where they did well and lost in the final and then out in the second round of the Canada Open. So only one tournament, really, if they've gone far in without a walkover in the way. And that was their home one. And the Indonesians now, you feel, not far away. You contrast that. Their record this year has been pretty good. Started off with a runners-up finish at the Malaysia Open, semi-finals of the India Open quarters of the Indonesia Masters. They've now set up match point. The final of the All England. Oh, sorry, winning All England. Quarters of the Spain Masters and the Asia Championships. Probably one that would be disappointing for them. A surprise early exit at the Malaysia Masters and the Singapore Open. First round in both. Quarterfinals of the Indonesia Open as well. So only a couple of times have they gone out early in tournaments this year. Stark contrast, it's the complete reverse of their opponents here. Still have five match points. 
and they have completed it. They continue a very good head-to-head -head record against their opponents. That's now six wins in seven for the Indonesians against this Chinese Taipei pair. And they continue their excellent run against pairs from Chinese Taipei. 29 wins and eight losses only against a pairing from Chinese Taipei. They are the world number one pair for a reason. And they continue their march on. And they will surely fancy their chances in this tournament, the career open. They will face a Japanese pair in the next round. So, Fajr Alfred and Mohamed Rian Ardianto, the top seeds from Indonesia, beat Lu Qingyao and Yang Pohan of Chinese Taipei, 21-19, 21-15, and they've done it in 42 minutes. Very well done today. And a good performance from the top seeds, who didn't have much of a match in the previous round. Retirement after just two minutes. And they are surely on their way to the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals, you'd feel. So, looking back earlier today, Xiao and Che beating Ferdinand Cha and Wijaja. That was a, a whopping couple of matches to start with. 67 minutes in three. They won 2-1 to six seeds. And perhaps uh, more than they bargained for, Chung Ching Chin and Chia Yin Fan. They were pushed all the way by the Malaysian pair of Pali Tan and Tina Muralitharan. That also took 67 minutes, but they eventually won the Chinese pair in three. And then from there on, it was a procession of straight games wins. With Xi Yu Chi, the third seed, defeating the former world number one, Kenta Momota, in 56 minutes. Kim Ga Eun, what a stunning win. That is probably one of the results of the tournament so far. That one of the home fans getting right behind us. She's beating the fifth seed, first women seed out. Her Bing Chiao, she won in straights in just 42 minutes. Ong Tse Yoff edged out Angus Ung Ka Long of Hong Kong China. She's had a pretty decent year. It's a good win for Ong Tse Yoff as he looks to secure Olympic qualification. Still some way to go for him, of course. Uh, then, next up in uh, women's doubles, Bekana Lisohi. I mean, this was always expected, uh, but perhaps not quite as convincingly as it ended up. 21-11, 21-4, only 33 minutes this one took. An excellent win against uh, Teresa Jolie and Gayatri Gopichampalela of India. And as Anton said, we thought this might take a little longer. It might even go to three, but the Dane has eliminated the second seed from Chinese Taipei, Cho Tian Chen, in straight games. And finally, we've just seen Fajr Alfen and Mohamed Riyad, Rian Ardianto, the top seeds, uh, eliminate Lu Qingyao and Yang Pohan of Chinese Taipei in 42 minutes, uh, as probably expected, you'd have to say. That brings us to a close here on the uh, on round of 16 and the career open. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow in the quarterfinals here in the wonderful city of Yosu.